What's going on guys? This is Jake at That Fit Friend and today we're gonna to be looking at the Vans Ultra Range XO. So three things that I like about this model right out of the gate is number one, how comfortable it is. So this model has a co-molded Ultra Kush light midsole, which is incredibly responsive and comfortable. So if you wanna wear these for longer durations because they do look pretty dang good when it comes to like streetwear, you can do so and they don't get overly uncomfortable. Some of the Vans models that have more firm midsole and outsoles can be a little bit uncomfortable to wear for long durations and this model kind of solves that problem for you. The second thing that I like about this shoe is how lightweight it is. So let's say you wanna wear this on a day-to-day -day basis and for some recreational training sessions, you could technically do so with how lightweight and responsive it is. And honestly, I think that a lot of folks are gonna find that it's very comfortable, especially with a little bit of a wider toe box up here to really splay and grip the ground with, with those toes. The third thing that I like about this model is just the overall clean appearance. So I'm a huge fan of Vans and also the aesthetic that comes along with them. So if you are looking for a shoe that you can do some casual training in, wear on a day-to-day -day basis, and that looks good with like shorts, jeans, pants, etc. I think there are a lot of good colorways in this model that you'll probably enjoy. Plus at a price of $90 USD, it's pretty dang cost efficient. All right, so two potential cons I could see folks having with the Ultra Range XO is the durability. So when looking at other reviews, I was noting how other folks have talked about how the upper on the lateral side and the medial side breaks down right about where the base of the pinky and big toe are. And I thought I would be exempt, but literally, we already have a rip in this shoe, and this is on the left side. And note that I use these for literally an hour to go just casually skate around my area in Denver, and they already ripped. I literally probably hit like 15 alleys down this little two stair, and we're already having the mesh rip. So if you get this shoe, just don't skate in it. I saw some people talking online about how they skate in these shoes. Like, I don't know how they do it because this ripped after literally one session. The second con I could see folks having is that if you want this shoe for training and all my Vans folks out there who love Vans for training, this is not gonna be the best bet for loading. I would say cap loading to about 315 pounds. The midsole is incredibly lightweight, reactive and responsive and comfortable, but it is definitely not the best for stability. So again, cap your loading to about 315 pounds, but those are two aspects that I could see being issues for some. Just don't skate or load heavy in these shoes and I think you're gonna really enjoy them. So when chatting performance in this shoe, we're gonna break it down into our normal sections of lifting, agility and plyometric work, shorter runs, day-to-day -day wear, and then we're also gonna add in some skating. So when it comes to lifting, if you want a pair of Vans that is comfortable for lighter sessions, so if you're not going crazy heavy with the barbell, or if you don't need a shoe to really provide you with a ton of stability, this model is a pretty dang good bet. Honestly, I've worn them for my upper body days and even some lower body days where I'm just using machines and going a little bit lighter and they've been pretty freaking phenomenal. Again, I would just say cap your loading to about 315 pounds because you're gonna notice that the midsole does have a lot of reactivity to it and it does compress pretty dang easily. So. You can use them for heavier lifting, but also they're not gonna be the best tool to get the job done. For agility and plyometrics, this shoe is okay. So if you are that functional fitness athlete that wants to rock these for more of your like CrossFit workouts or cross training workouts, they might not be the best for things like box jumps, bounding, etc. I think that the midsole does a great job at providing comfort and a little bit of support in the takeoff and landing phases of plyos, but just the overall shape and aesthetic of the shoe, I think feels a bit boxy at times. It doesn't feel so much athletic, but it makes sense. That's a Vans model. So that is something to keep in mind. There's a give and take there with plyos and agility work. You can use them for them, but again, it's not gonna be your best bet for really excelling in those niche activities. On a day-to-day -day basis and with shorter runs, shorter runs, I'd say probably skip on this model just because again, it's a Vans. You're not gonna wanna probably run in these. If you need to run in like maybe a mile in these, you could probably get away with the midsole and how responsive and comfortable it is. But honestly, I would recommend not running super long distances in the shoe. And on a day-to-day -day basis, these shoes are freaking awesome. They are so comfortable. And like, honestly, I've been wearing these as my day-to-day -day trainers for the last couple of weeks now. And, and they have been phenomenal. One of my most comfortable shoes that I've worn at least in 2021. On a skating basis, we talked about this in the cons, but if you're looking into this model for skating, I would highly suggest skipping. The durability just isn't there on this mesh upper, especially on the lateral side where you're gonna be dragging up the grip tape. So overall, when it comes to performance of this shoe, it's great for day-to-day -day wear, and it dips its toes into a lot of different areas of performance, but again, it's a Vans model. It's not going to excel in any niche form of cross training, so keep that in mind if you are gonna get this model. So now let's ask the question, are the Vans Ultra Range XOs worth it? So 
If you are, again, I think somebody who wants a shoe for just day-to-day -day wear that you could slap on the feet, rock for casual training sessions, and you just want an overall comfortable aesthetic ride, this is a really good bet, plus $90 USD. It's not too costly for what it offers, and you could dip your toes in a lot of different activities with this shoe. What I will say, though, is be very mindful of the durability and how you are creating friction on the upper. If you're doing a lot of things or activities that you're gonna be creating some form of friction across this mesh, especially in the lateral and medial side, be very cognizant of how fast this shoe breaks down and try to limit those activities. When talking sizing and fit, most folks should be safe going true to size in this model. The length is fairly true and the overall last feels a bit more neutral. You do have a little bit of room up in the toe to display the toes, which I'm a fan of. You don't feel overly cramped. So if you are looking into this shoe, you should be fairly safe going true to size. For the Vans Ultra Range XO, you can expect to pay $90 USD. Personally, I do think that price point is worth it, especially if you do, once again, wear them on a day-to-day -day basis and want them for just an overall comfortable and aesthetic ride. I will say though, be cognizant of the durability. I don't want you to invest $90 in this shoe and have them rip in literally the first week like I did. And it's not even like it's a manufacturer's issue because I was skating in them. So it's technically my fault as to why they ripped. So be cognizant of that if you wanna get this shoe. But $90 is a pretty fair price point for this model. All right, so now we're gonna break down the construction of the Vans Ultra Range XO. And we are gonna use the model with a durability breakdown because maybe Vans will see this and they'll be like, oh, we need to beef up the material here on the lateral medial side with this mesh. But making our way up here from the toe to the heel, we have a full midsole layer that wraps around. This is that co-molded Ultra Kush light midsole. Very responsive, very reactive, like as you can see, you can compress it fairly easily, and that's why I recommend not loading super heavy in this shoe. But on the toe, we have a synthetic layer that wraps up, extends over the full toe box here. Personally, I dig this for resisting friction, but I am curious to see how long this lightweight material lasts, especially seeing how fast this broke down. Making our way to the midfoot, one, two, three, four, five, six eyelets going up, a seventh back here for lace locking, and we have that classic Vans aesthetic on the medial and lateral side here. We do have a little bit of beefed up material here on the medial side, so if you are worried about having a little bit of support, the shoe is okay. This is an incredible amount of support, so if you do need a little bit more midfoot support, especially around that medial arch, something to keep in mind is that this shoe may not be the best bet for tackling that. We have a mesh layer that wraps all the way around. Back here on the heel, we do have a little synthetic layer that comes up here, it helps lock in that heel. I haven't noticed any issues with heel slip in this shoe, so if you do want to train in them, you should be pretty safe to do so without them feeling loose or coming off. We have a loop back here to help pull that shoe on, and the whole synthetic layer that goes around here is what's called the exoskeleton of the shoe. It's basically Vans means of making this model have different layers of support where it's gonna help your foot just feel overall more secure in this shoe. We have a lighter weight tongue here with lighter weight tongues. I always say this in reviews, but be very careful with how you pull this tongue up if you are relacing and unlacing every single time. Pull up on both sides. You don't wanna have this mesh rip by pulling up one side and having this break down too, especially seeing how the mesh performs. On the outsole, we have a full rubber outsole. Very good traction overall. Again though, I do wish there was a little bit of wrap here because again, like I'm starting to have a little bit of fray already back here on that posterior lateral portion of the midsole. So something to keep in mind too that if you are using these, I did wear these for like a casual, casual game of pickleball and I'm already starting to notice that. So reality is, is just don't use them for a ton of like lateral or sport focused movement on hot pavement and you might be able to make this midsole last a little bit longer. And then lastly, the insole of this model does not come out. So if you are somebody who needs inserts, there is no insole in this model that pulls out to put in your own insert and so you'll have to put that in on top of this insole. If you have any questions on this model, or if you noticed anything in the construction section that I might have missed, hit me in the comments below. All right guys, that wraps up my review of the Vans Ultra Range XO. Overall, I have really enjoyed this shoe. It is incredibly comfortable, and I really do dig the midsole construction. I do think Vans has some tweaks to work out with the overall durability of the upper of the shoe, and I'm also curious to see how long this midsole lasts since the foam does kind of come down to the ground, like I'm already starting to get a little bit scuff here over doing some lateral movement on the pavement. So some things to keep in mind, but overall, this has been a solid model thus far. If you have any questions on the shoe, hit me in the comments below. And as always guys, drop a like on the video, drop subscribe to the channel. I'll see you guys in the next one.
Thank you.